On Thursday, March 14, 2013, the sport of harness racing not only lost a great horse, but a super sire far too soon at the age of 11. Rock and Roll Hanover, the 2005 Horse of the Year and 2012 inductee into the Harness Racing Hall of Fame, first established himself with a successful career on the track, earning $2.75 million. Then he went on to make a major impact in the breeding shed for Peretti Farms of Cream Ridge, New Jersey. In 2012, Rock and Roll was the sport's leading money-winning stallion with a $17 million season, the second highest ever, a remarkable feat with his oldest foals only five years old. Bred by Hanover Shoe Farms, Rock and Roll Hanover sold for $190,000 at the 2001 Harrisburg Yearling Sale and was from the first crop of millionaire Western Ideal and is damn rich and elegant, is in both the U.S. and Canadian Halls of Fame. Trained by Brett Pelling for owners Jeff Snyder, Lothlorien Equestrian Center and Peretti Racing, Rock and Roll Hanover came bursting on the scene in 2004 as the first sub-150 two-year-old with a 31-to-1 upset in the Metro Final at Woodbine. Brian Sears became his regular driver after that 149-4 world record, and Rock and Roll is the only horse in history to win the Metro, North America Cup, Meadowlands Pace and Breeders' Crown. Rock and Roll Hanover continued to make history with an explosive three-year-old campaign, winning 12 of 18 starts and $2.2 million, the third richest season in history among Pacers. He reeled off his first five starts, including the half-million-dollar New Jersey Classic in 151, then the $1.2 million North America Cup at Woodbine in 149-4, making him the first horse to better 150 at both two and three. Following a rare loss in his Meadowlands pace elimination, Rock and Roll roared right back in perfect rhythm to dominate the pace final in a career best and stakes record of 148-3, with stablemate Village Jolt three lengths behind in second. Rock and Roll Hanover capped his sensational Horse of the Year season in 2005 with a Breeders' Crown coronation at the Meadowlands in 149-4. Brian Sears posted the first $15 million season by a driver and said the pacer was the best equine athlete he's ever sat behind. With the glory of his racing career in the books, Rock and Roll Hanover launched into a great career as a stallion who was gone far too soon. As a sire, he has six millionaires to his credit. Rock and Roll Heaven, 2010 Horse of the Year from his very first crop with a mark of 147 and three-fifths. Also from his first crop, put on a show, the fastest female in history, with a 147-3 in the Lady Liberty. A rock and roll dance, 2012 Meadowlands Pace winner in 148-1. Also Rocklamation, Ticket to Rock, and Pet Rock. His fastest performer, Panther Hanover, won the 2012 New Jersey Classic in 147-2. And 2012 O'Brien Award winner, I Love the Nightlife, the fastest two-year-old filly of all time at 150 and one, and winner of the She's a Great Lady in 151 are just a few of Rock and Roll Hanover's many standouts. His trainer, Brett Pelling, called the passing of Rock and Roll Hanover the end of an era, and the horse's sudden death sent shockwaves through the industry. A star stallion in New Jersey, Rock and Roll had also done shuttle service in Australia and was in the middle of his breeding season in Pennsylvania. Rock and Roll Hanover stamped his progeny with distinction, stamina, and presence, and he will continue to pass on his incredible speed, great gait, and class. Rock and Roll may be gone, but the legacy of Rock and Roll is here to stay.